everyone! In the last video, we took a look at scientific notation so that we could understand engineering notation. In this video, we'll take a look at engineering notation, and you'll be happy to know it's not much different. I'll also talk about why we use engineering notation in electronics, so let's get right into it. Remember that scientific notation follows the convention of having a single digit to the left of the decimal point, then multiplied by some power of 10. Well, engineering notation is similar, but follows that we have one to three digits to the left of the decimal, multiplied by some power of 10 in multiples of three. That's it. Huh? No, really, that's all there is to it. We covered moving the decimal in the last video. With engineering notation, we're simply moving the decimal in multiples of three. Let's take a look. Here we have the number 20,000. In scientific notation, we would move the decimal over four times so that we would end up with only one digit to the left of the decimal. However, in engineering notation, we move the decimal in multiples of three. So to convert 20,000 to engineering notation, it would look like this. Let's take a look at another example. So moving the decimal in multiples of three, we would end up with 300 times 10 to the power of six. Okay, here comes the infamous practice card. Pause the video and work through the practice questions. I'll show you the answers after a few seconds. All right, let's check out some small numbers now. For small numbers, we just move the decimal in the other direction and use a negative sign with the exponent for the power of 10. Here's an example. We're still moving the decimal in multiples of three, just the other direction now, and we end up with 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative six. Easy. All right, one more example now. Whoa, that's a big one. No. It's okay, chill. Just move the decimal in multiples of three. It's even easier than scientific notation. Easy. Okay, it's time for the practice card. Let's do it. So you might be wondering, what's the point? Why do we even use engineering notation? Why not scientific notation? Well, engineering notation lends itself well to using metric prefixes. You may have heard them used before. Milliamps, kilovolts, megohms, etc. So what the heck is a metric prefix anyway? What's it mean? Subscribe and stick around, because we're going to get into that in the next video, all about metric prefixes and the metric system. So as always, if you have questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And if you like this video and found it informative, SMASH THE LIKE BUTTON! This is Life Meet Lightning, here to bring a little lightning into your life. <laughs> <laughs>